In this video, we're gonna cover how to actually get started with the design sets that we imported in the previous video. So make sure you watch the quick start guide so you have all the selectors and your site keys already present on your site. And what we're gonna do is start off by editing an oxygen template. In this case, I have the main template that for my site is going to effectively be my header and my footer. And what I have here is it's set to apply to the singular post type of pages, which is effectively going to be everything across my site. So what I'm going to do is on this template, hit edit with oxygen. Now, like I mentioned in the previous episode, this is a blank site. So what we're gonna keep in mind on this particular step is we're adding content to our template that again is effectively going to be our header and our footer. So let's go to the add button here and come down to the library option. What you're gonna do is click on design sets. You have the default oxygen design sets here, but we're gonna go down to core. Click on that. Then if you hover over the templates option, you'll find a number of existing blog layouts. So a few of these are archive templates and then a few of them are single blog post templates, but that's not quite what we're after. So we're gonna go to the sections and elements button here. I'm gonna go to the header section and then let's just add a few of them so you can see what they look like and then we'll decide on one. So these first two here are mega menus, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and stick one of those on the page. So now we have our mega menu set up here, which is pretty awesome. All of this stuff is built using oxygen elements. So all of these are editable. Everything that you can do with an oxygen element prior to core, you can still do with core because again, it's all built using oxygen elements. If I open my structure panel, you can see more of what I'm talking about. So let's start here. This element right here is a div. Then we have a code block with some JavaScript and some CSS to make the mega menu possible. And then inside of that, you have header rows. So everything should look pretty familiar if you're already familiar with oxygen. You have row center and all of the components inside of that. As you can see, it's highlighted the menu in the middle of our screen. On the row right, we have a call to action, which in this case is just a text link. And then our hamburger icon for our code block is going to pop up at our lower device breakpoints, as you can see. So I'll step back up now and let's go ahead and just delete this entire header and let's pick something else out. I'm gonna go back to the headers and let's take a look at another one here. So. I'm gonna to go to mega menu full width row. So this one's pretty similar, except it's slightly smaller, which I actually really liked. It's almost like a compact mega menu. So instead of it being a typical drop down that goes vertically up and down, you have it kind of horizontal left and right, which is really, really neat. Once again, this is all just standard oxygen elements. So anything you want, you can put in here. So I'm happy with this as my header of choice. So typically what you would do next is add an inner content element to your template. So what I'm gonna do is click on the body up here so we don't accidentally put our inner content inside of our header. So now I'm gonna go to add and then I'm gonna search for inner content. One thing you can do is set your inner content to a minimum height of 75 VH or something like that. So if you have a limited amount of content on a given page, your footer won't be floating up in the middle of the page. Now what we're gonna do is go back to add and then we're still in the core design set area. So I'm gonna go down here to footers and let's pick something out. Let's say we want like the dark big footer right here. So this is what we just added. And let's say you decide you don't actually like that. All you need to do is just simply delete it out of your structure panel and go pick something else. So I'll just choose the light version of that since we have a light header. And so there we go. Now we have the content on our template set up. So we have a header and a footer that's going to apply everywhere across our site. And now what I'm going to do is save this and then let's go actually edit a page and add some content there. So we're gonna to go to our home page on the site and click edit with oxygen. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to add. We're gonna to go to library, design sets and choose core again. This time we're gonna to go to sections and elements and let's just try to quickly put together a typical homepage layout. So let's go to heroes and titles. Let's choose this one right here because we have kind of a light theme going. So that looks good. That's like an agency or maybe like a software vendors call to action at the top of the homepage. Now let's go find something else. So what will we do next? Let's go to the content section here and let's choose this four wide column services element. So you can see there's a ton of different options here, but I wanted to show you what some of this stuff looks like right out of the box. Next up, let's go back to the content tab here and let's just find something else. I'm gonna scroll down a bit. So let's go down to like this. I like these kind of alternating columns with the image on one side and then the next row it's on the other. So let's pop that in. Once again, all of this stuff is just oxygen elements. So you'll find all of these are just editable headings, text blocks. These are image elements. So you can do pretty much anything you want with these. Let's go ahead and add in something like a slider component. So we're gonna go back to add. Let's go to the slider section here. And then something like an FAQ list is gonna be really useful. And so now let's go ahead and save this and take a look on the front end. So in a very short amount of time, we now have a fully functional header. We have a lot of great looking page content. 
And then of course we have the footer at the bottom. So there is everything that we just added to our page. We have these great looking FAQ toggles right here. And then also of course, all the other page content that we've already looked at. So that is how you can get started adding content from the design set to your site in a really short period of time.